Let's talk now to uh, Sebastian Roche, Professor of Policing at the University of Grenoble. Um, professor, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for your time. First question, uh, this isn't just about the story of Paris, is it? I mean, this is widespread across France. Absolutely. Um, the event started in the suburb of Paris, in Nanterre, but uh, uh, very soon after the, uh, the shock and emotion uh, that the young man was killed in cold blood by a police officer, then uh, dozens of French cities throughout the country uh, have um, been um, affected with, with major riots. Um, we understand 40,000 police officers now are deployed. I mean, you're an expert in this particular area. I mean, is your sense that this is enough? I mean, what happens if that doesn't work? Are we going to see France declaring some sort of martial law? Um, it's difficult to say whether it's going to be uh, enough uh, because it depends on, on the number of fires throughout the country. The more fires you have, the more police you need to try to contain those fires. Uh, so it's, it's, it depends on the, on the behavior of the, of the rioters at the moment. Uh, I think that uh, 40,000 is a quite a number, and I don't think that police can stop rioting. What we know from the U.S., from the U.K. and France is that rioting stops when the participants are exhausted or when they have burned all the possible targets. And usually it takes... Uh, five days, and we are uh, uh, on the verge of, of the fourth night of the events. Um, well, that's, uh, that's very scientific. Um, is this protest and rioting, uh, do you sense about the killing of a teenager, or is it perhaps symptomatic of uh, wider issues in France? It's, uh, it's symptomatic of wider issues. Of course, the triggering event is the death of an unarmed person that was no imminent threat to a police officer who nonetheless decided to shoot him dead. This has caused immense uh, emotions for the country, but the, the parts of the country that are uprising in some, way, in some ways, that are destroying the schools, the city halls, the buses, etc., are the poorer parts of the country and the banlieue, as we call them in France. And in this banlieue, the police has a very poor reputation a reputation of uh, racial discrimination and of brutality. And this is this resentment against the police that, in my opinion, fuels the actions of the rioters. Professor, good to talk to you. Come back on the programme uh, when you can. Uh, Professor Sebastian Roche uh, from the University of Grenoble.